And in the late 60s with hits like Tighten Up and I Just Can't Stop Dancing and There's Gonna Be a Showdown and a whole bunch more. None other than Archie Bell from Houston, Texas. Hi, Archie. Welcome to American Gold. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself these days. Where are you living now? Well, uh, North Carolina is the area that I've been hanging the most. I'm still in and out of Texas, you know, but I've been kind of standing in North Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia area. A lot of beach music interest there, and that's uh, where your kind of uh, R&B stuff fell from the 60s, right? Right. Yeah. What kind of music are you making now? Well, I'll a good guys. Well, basically the same thing, you know, I do it. Size when we crowded uh, uh, Different audience, I work with different... Time to bring it all hit here's a recap of the 10 best by three dog night according to billboard magazine chart data at number 10 eli's coming liar was number nine never been to spain was eight number seven was one an old-fashioned love song was number six easy to be hard was fifth number four was shambhala black and white was third 1992 u.s olympic team is giving you two ways to win a free trip to the 1992 olympic games an instant win number for the olympic winter games in france and the sweepstakes for the olympic summer games in spain see your newspaper sunday august 25th for details
Oh, oh yeah. Oh, they don't wrote them. Some people just, they're interested, just rip them off. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah. 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 So, what's it up yeah. for me? <laughs> so, it's a full 35 grand. <laughs> 35 grand. Or best offer. No, but it's a full 34. Oh, oh, oh. And the frames are really beautiful. No, they're subtle, aren't they? They're just how they should be. Okay, Mel Blank was the guy who made uh, all those characters famous. This is his son. Right. He was involved in a helicopter right. crash a few years ago with uh, Kirk Douglas and some of that stuff. Yeah, we fell out of the sky about five months ago, so I'm really happy to be here. This is the best, the best run ever. Not only probably on this side of the country, but the whole country. And I go to a lot of them. This is terrific. And it's all these two guys and their help and everything. So I think let's give them a really terrific hand. Thanks, Noel. Appreciate it. Thank you for everything. Thanks for coming out. Hey, how about that? I was going to thank him. He thanked us. I think that's great. How many were here? There were 7 million cars here. There was 14 million people, and I made $7,100. I have no earthly idea. How many cars we have here? There was a bunch, I'll tell you that. We parked them in places we've never parked them, and yet the registration numbers were under what we did last year. Now you figure it out. <laughs> no, this year I think we had the total registration count of almost 2,600. We're still shy of 3,000, so it's up to you guys to invite your friends, your buddies, your good-looking neighbors, and have them bring their street rods, and come on down next year, because we got to get over that 3,000 mark, okay? And then we'll shoot for the 4,000 car deal. Uh, the golf tournament, they want to talk to Snow. Come on out here, Wendy. Come on out here, Wendy. This is our trophy girl. What do you think, huh? Isn't she a beautiful young lady? <laughs> huh? does, Larry, does Larry have a good choice? Hi, it's great to be here. You guys have all wonderful, beautiful cars. I feel very lucky to be up here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now can we show them some cars? Lewis. 46 Ford Coupe, Troll, Blown, Injected, Subtle Blue. He's cranking it over. While we're waiting a minute, I'll have Dick King come out and announce the winners of the cattle car contest. Well, we got fire. We'll wait a minute. Caster and Rick Turner, it's car number 851, Bill Rutledge, 1939 old, two-door sedan, blowing big block in it. Four-door. How about that, a blown big block. You got some sleep paper and a free weekend, go see him. <laughs> All right, George, now we got a blown flathead coming up here. Under construction award. 
The local 32 Ford definitely got a flathead in it, definitely in suede and looking good. All right, the, the Eagle One, Eagle One Visual Perfection Award, picked by Carl Herrera, who uh, was our giveaway card recipient in 1987. He picked this car, belongs to Dick Grace. It's a roadster, it's 32. Where are you from, Dick? Monrovia. Whoa, down LA way. All right. That's the Flamed Award from Eagle One. Okay, our next award is an Eagle One Visual Perfection. Selected by Dan Morris. Mike Davis from Yorba Linda, California. 36, 36 Ford, Ford Roadster. Ford Roadster. Man, that baby is beautiful. Graphics, this was the Graphics Award for Eagle One. What we did is we got a lot of people involved that had never been involved before to pick a car. And man, they were just, you know, it took them two days to do this stuff. So it doesn't hurt to applaud. Not only the guy winning it, but the guy who got to pick it. Because we bar last year, Travis and Judy Byron from Texas, we told them to go out and pick a really slick color. And they picked uh, George Silman. And uh, I don't know where he's from, but it's definitely this little 32 3 window here. You can call it what you want. I'm colorblind, so it don't look yellow to me. Watermelon? I guess that'd be watermelon, huh? Hey, Burnham, what would you call that color? Huh? Yeah. Salmon. Yeah, like pink salmon. Okay, we have another Eagle One. So, picked by Dave Franz, 89 giveaway car winner. Car number 1240, Eddie Swisher. It's a 1934 coupe. All colors, custom mixed at home. This is a really dynamite car. I checked this baby out. It's dynamite. The guy did it all by himself at home in his dirt garage. You believe that? I want to sell you some land in Dinuba. No, he did it all himself though, really. Are the chips guys here? Where's the California Highway Patrol? I want to see them up here right now. Are they here? Are the chips here? Are they doing another TV show? Okay, let's keep it rolling then. Go ahead, Gary. Alright, it's a 47 Chevy. It's from Medford, Oregon. Russ Davis. Russ Doss. That's the car that the CHP picked. Very good choice. This, is, this evidently is a rump rump deal here. This is the Canadian's choice. Dan and Doug McLanders from up in Canada picked it. The car number 1883. Larry Edgecombe. It's a 1932 Ford five window. Powered by a 426 late model Kimmy. Running 100% alcohol, producing 900 plus horsepower. How about that one? Who's, who says those Canadians can't pick cars? They can build them, they can pick them, they can do them, they can they pick their nose too a lot, I think. Be nice, nice, Gary. Be nice. I didn't say that. Gotta get up off of there, guys. This is the uh, low lid award. How about that for a low lid? You guys paying attention? Huh? Oh, it's a gal in there? It's Gina Shore. <laughs> hey, Norman, what are you doing? The original, the original 77 Sunset Strip, star of Hooper, and friend of personal friend of Burt Reynolds. What's your name? <laughs> I'll never forget him. Anyway, that's uh, Jeannie Shore, and uh, it says she's from City and State. Did you catch that, George? She's from City and State. Anyway, it's a 33 Ford it's a watermelon pearl. You just saw it. You know what it's like. This is the solo. It's a solo. The solo. I can't even see it up from up here. Solo. But it's Paul. Anyway, it's Paul. Yeah, you give me the damn thing every week. Paul Deffenbacher from City and State. It's a 46 Ford Red, and it's low, and it was picked by Howdy Ledbetter. That's the guy with the 32 Ford that he puts it on the ground and raises it up. We gave him the challenge of picking a solo award, and that's what he picked. Okay, our next award is Salmon Food 
That's from Oregon. Randy Harrison, are you guys here? Yeah, Randy's here. Where's, Randy gets up here. Sam? Randy went. Randy's here. He wants to be here with Miss Budweiser. Oh, he wants to do it. You might know you'd be the one. You didn't tell Sam. That's why he's not here. I got it. This is the Fat Vendor Award picked by Sam Foods and Randy Harrison every year. I was fortunate to win the first one they ever gave out, and it's a great honor. It's a car number 1573, Ron Harris, Newport Beach, California. Norris. Okay. Yeah, it's a 46 or 7 board made to look like a 44. Okay. It says here, just to show you how goofed up Sam and them are, they got 44 coupe. Hey, George, I'd like to know why the Plymouths never win Fat Fender to work. Uh, well, you're going to have to take that up with Brandy and Sam. Either you haven't bought them enough beer, or you haven't bribed them enough yet. That could be. Okay. Yeah. Right. Besides that, they might not like yellow. Is this the one with the big blower on it? This is what we call our Muck Cool Award. This is selected by David Scott from Benny Jair. It's car number 1642. It's Dan Christensen from Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona, the land of the sun. Give him a big round of applause. 1937 huh? Ford. Description green. Definitely a green 37 Ford. I could spot it a mile away. See how smart I am, Joe? Slick Chevy. Case. Now this one, they didn't even say city or state. Where's he from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Napa. Who cares? Hey, I'll be up to see you. We'll have a little wine, huh? Hey, Napa guy, that's good. He sneaks right through the streets, I'm sure. Nice, slick Chevy. Hey, Gary, the next car is best nostalgia. How about this for a nostalgia car? The 1935 Ford Phaeton. Car number 1376. Dick Falk. Yeah. Falk. Hey, Richard. Falk. Good, Richard. hey, Dick Falk. Dick Falk's older than me because we just talked about this. He just had a birthday. He's 56. When did you build your first car, Dick? Hey, Dick, when did you build your first car? High school, and that was about, what, 49, 50? 50? Genuine nostalgia guy, right? How about a big round of applause for Dick? Who says old ain't good, right? Besides that, he built a little model car of it and had it in the model car show. Shows you how into it he is. Big Mar, big sponsor of good guys. We love him to death. Anyway, Mar picked this uh, 30 Ford from it, uh, Alameda. It's Harold Perry. Blown 350 in it. He says, hey, this is about as close as I can get to a GMC. At least it had a you know, General Motors motor in it. They didn't make very many GMCs before 1949. Cool commercial. Definitely cool, definitely commercial. Sedan delivery, 34 Ford. Bob Cavello, Cavero, Cavero from Bakersfield, California. Got a 350 Chevy in it. Wendy, how you like that car? It's hot. But he's hot. Lean over there a little bit more. I'm hot. I know I am. I thought you said this hat would keep me cool. I think you fished me. You look cool, George. You look cool. Speaking of cool, this is a cool, this is a cool custom. Hey, this is a 4640. This car was selected by Larry. This is uh, Larry Westervelt, who is Westervelt. our world representative. And the uh, owner Larry of this Westervelt's car, the only guy Gary, that's the world Shirley. Gary Shirley from Tacoma, Washington. Car number 1591. Jerry had never owned a street rod in two unique garage, and two years later, that's what he built. Not bad for a first timer. George, what do we have here? Hey man, that's your kind of car. Where's Martin Garza? Martin Garza picked it. Martin Garza did the clock. Slew Rose from Ceres, California with a 37 Plymouth two-door. Nice, Mopar. 
That's called our Major Mopar Award. Each year Martin Garza shows up and does his thing. He does better every year, Martin. What, I got another Washington car. This is our Classy Classic, selected by Jerry Dixon from Classic Transportation. It's car number 502. This is Larry and Janice Foss from up in the state of Washington. It's a 31 Ford light blue two-door. Yeah! Outside air conditioner. These guys go everywhere. I mean, I don't care where you are, uh, you'll find them. And uh, they're real guys that get out and get with it. Rod. Pick my McGuire's. <laughs> like Gary says, it does run. Uh, next award was chosen by Lewis drinking beer. We said, go pick a car. So we bid her to work. She came up and she says, I really dig this Cadillac. It's Paul, and I always butcher his name. I still haven't learned this over the years. Galveras, right? Did I say it right? <laughs> well, all oh. the help. You had to have all them guys help you. Did I say that? I said it right. I'm not going to repeat it because I'll screw it up. Anyway, it's 48 Cadillac. It's beautiful. It's definitely a smooth, slick car, picked by Luis. Luis, check into that. Luis Gibbery from Houston, Texas. Okay, our next award is the Budweiser Best. It's car number 1707. Wrong. 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 Uh-oh. You lose. Yeah. Uh, the folks from uh, California car cover, Jim DeFrank's kid. Where's he? Is he here? Let's get him up here with the windy snow, boy. That'll make his year, won't it? Huh? Yeah, I thought he'd come up about here. Ooh. Where is he? I just want to see this. Where is he? Where's DeFrank? Here he is. Get over here with windy snow. Is this your kid's pick? Get over there with windy. You're going to love this. I'm going to make your whole life. Are you okay? Can you walk okay? Was it right? Get the pencil out of your pocket. It matters. Come on. Now we're right, George. This is the Budweiser pick, the one you just had. Because uh, Larry, Big Larry, gave him the deal. He says, uh, and he put uh, about five of his guys out on this assignment. Right, Larry? Yeah. So it's got to be red. He says it's got to be, uh, got to look like a car. Can't be something all cut up. And uh, he had to vote on it. So anyway, it's Chris Davis, and this is uh, really nice. And it says on here 34 Ford Vicky, but it's definitely a 32. 32 Ford Vicky of uh, Chris Davis. Where are you from, Chris? Alameda. 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 All right. From across the water. Gary, what do you think your favorite beer was? What do you think your favorite beer was? Larry wants to know what their favorite beer was. Budweiser. Oh, that was the other. That was the third thing. It had to be red, and he asked him what what was their favorite beer. That was the, that was the thing. Okay, our next award is called Trick and Slick. This is picked by DNF Metalworks. It's car number 1019. Bella Louise Branson. It's a 1934 Ford Roadster. It's called Hot Pink Pearl. Baby is hot. These folks are from uh, up around Napa someplace too, right? Oxper, I said Napa, that's close, right? Give me a break. Okay, the next award is our 50th anniversary award. 50 years old. It's car number 1507. Paul Moses. Say it for those of you who are not very good at arithmetic, 1991. Minus 50 years old means 1940. White walls, Cadillac Cupcats. Woo! Pretty nice car, huh? Doesn't hurt anything to clap. All right. Dual spots, twice tight. Dale Daly. 
Why don't you come up here with Wendy Snell? We got Rodders for Christ, and we got. Oh, this is great. They picked uh, for the Rodders for Christ. Uh, Dale Daly picked uh, uh, Bill and Georgia Campbell. They're from San Jose. They're a really nice little 47 Ford convertible. And if you didn't get a chance to make it to church this Sunday at the Rodders for Christ, please do it. Okay, I mean, I go, George goes, a lot of us guys go, and it's, it's great. It's not, it's not something that's heavy that you're going to get all worried about. I mean, Don Garnett goes to church, and Eddie Hill goes to church, and if they go to church, I can go to church, and George can go to church, and you can go to church. Especially when you're and a the good man deal. talks to where we can understand him. He relates to the street rods, he relates to hot rods, he relates to drag racing. So don't be afraid to go hear him. SREA, that's the guys who did the seminars. Now about a big round of applause for the seminars and all that stuff. Anyway, they pick they pick this car, Raymond Lake of Reno, Nevada with a 37 Ford. And it's got one of them big old blowers underneath the hood, just so you can pull that little trailer. I don't understand it. And, oh Lord. You might know. Nice roll. That was a GMC nice roll in reverse. Nice one, Norma. Green in Pleasanton. And I was trying to catch the guy, and I thought he's going to pull into a parking lot to get some beer. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, Budweiser. And he finally came up to a stop sign, and I said, What's your name? And he said, Marvin Rice. And I said, What's your number? He said, 1111. And then, then we were gone, and I figured. He doesn't know that I picked his car, really. <laughs> and uh, I didn't know what kind of car it was. I didn't recognize it right away. But as you can see, what kind of car appeals to me, kind of the offbeat. Uh, anyway, I love the car. The 1936 Huffmobile. Yeah! No, no, Norman. Wrong. <laughs> Let's see you can kiss him. No, I meant you, Norm. <laughs> He's from Leadhill, Arkansas. You don't get much loving. Hey, How about a big round of applause for Norm Gabrowski. The father of the kooky car. Star of 77 Sunset Strip, although he was never in it. Hey, Norman, come here. Around. Give me a quick whistle. Yeah, sing us a little song with your whistle. Oh, do a little something. Oh, Lord. It was pretty neat a minute ago. It's not working without the vodka. <laughs> There's a lot of people out here. Boy, I mean. We having fun yet? Yeah. And you good runners? Yeah. And you love Pollocks? Yeah. <laughs> well, two out of three ain't bad. Okay, anyway. Hey, Gary. Oh, uh, for, okay, first of all, folks, I have to apologize for not having Kooky 2 here. As you know, it was scheduled to, to be here, but I had about a seven-month seven month wait on the engine, and uh, the body work's done, the upholstery's done, the chassis work's done, and I've had some wonderful people on this car and are still on the car and work for free and so the new slogan here is kooky 2 for 92 what can I do so I, as an apology gesture I thought I'd give you all a moon <laughs> and, uh, but on second thought maybe I better not <laughs> anyway I want to thank you for your uh, interest and uh, and all the stuff that goes with it because uh, this just makes it m uh, more fun and uh, and all the interest, because a lot of guys come up to me and says, where's the car? And I said, oh, the car! I just remembered it when I was in Amarillo, and I didn't have the car with me. <laughs> I sound good, don't I? You're out of tune. You got a little out of tune there. I know. Yeah. I'm drinking too much 7-Up. Yes. Anyway, big round of applause for Ron. Let's get him the heck off the stage. Thank you, Gary. Thanks, Norm. The reason the car was stalled really was he only pays guys about four bucks an hour in Arkansas to work on it and everybody got tired of listening to his whistling. Okay, our next award is the Long Distance Award. It's 
Johnson. And Car he wants number to, 13, he wants to sell a car. 67. It's Wayne Leach. He's from New York State. 1938 Chev Coupe with a wild paint job. How many miles is that? 20. Oh, no, yeah, I guess a clock. Give him a clock. 3,300 miles. 3,300 miles. Huh? And he stopped at every gas station from here to there and couldn't sell this piece. So throw $20 bills at him or whatever you got to do. 3,289 miles. That's, that's long ways. He's got to be lonely. Wendy, don't get too close. He's got to be lonely. <laughs> Now this next guy, talk about lonely, this man is from England. This is John Scott, Long Distance International, 1934 Ford. He flew to Florida, picked up his car, and has been on an 8,000 mile trip across the United States. He was at the Good Guys event in Salem, Oregon. I talked to him there, and I said, John, come on down and see us in Pleasanton. He says, where? I said, Pleasanton, California. He said, man, he says, I've got to get back to Florida and meet my wife. I haven't seen her for months. I'm just about in the divorce court. I says, I'll stall her for three more days. Come on down. He showed up. I don't know where his wife's at. Thanks, John. Here's a funny little story. It says in Mississippi, he stopped at a gas station. He slept on a running board because the gas station wasn't open. Till they, and then he said, somebody told him the snakes were pretty bad, so he took off without even any gas. Wrote on my. Didn't know how far going to go. Okay, this next car. <laughs> this is called Northwest. I picked this 1937 Ford Cabriolet Blue. It's only taken me three years to give Jerry Ruskin and his wife my pick. The first year, Boyd beat me to it. Last year, somebody else did. Gary says, there's no way you're going to let this guy have three years in a row. And I said, yes, I am, because it took me three years to get to do it. Congratulations, Jerry. Okay, we have another famous pit. Uh, where's our sign, Gary? We need our sign now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the sign. The sign, get the sign, please. We lost the sign. God, I don't know why they're picking on me. Everyone's always picking on me, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I talked to Steve Friday morning, right? While I'm talking to Steve, Signed him up. I mean, this is a piece of paper right here. I'm talking to two other guys come up and tried to beat me out of this deal. I says, no way. Pat Ganahl sitting over there from the other magazine. You know, thumb your nose at me, Pat. I said, I got here first. Another guy comes up. And then when I went back and had a few beers with my sports gun and stuff, somebody else. That's four people wanted to pick this car. And I picked it and I done good. And so did Steve and his son. I don't know where Steve Jr. is. But I'm really proud to have picked this car because this is the kind of car that everyone can look back and say, I think I can build one of those. That is a nice car. Hey, Steve, let me jump down. I want to kiss a girl and I'll hand you something, okay? Oh, yeah, Bill. Shoot some pictures. All right. All right. How do you like Bill's stuff he writes in all his magazines and stuff, huh? Alright, here we go. Well, coming up next, uh, thank you, George, for allowing me to do this. This is a guy that, believe it or not, this is a good guy. I went to high school with this guy. This is the kind of cars that our generation put out. We're, we're just a little bit younger than you, and this is what we do. This is the Artist Award, the Tom Taylor Award, which was picked by Pat Ganahl, but Tom couldn't make it with us. This guy is Jack Jamison out of a great little town called El Cajon, California. Artist Award. Let's hear it for Jack. Jack, you can kiss her, man. Give her, get a kiss. Give her a kiss. Hey, want me to come out and get one with you? Come on. We shared in high school, buddy. Hold on. Hey, Danner, either you changed the lot or he did, because he didn't know the hell you were. 
wonder which one was the guy that you know, like, you know, you know when you saw the band up here earlier, the guy going, hee, 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 hee. And which one was the macho block jock guy? Okay, where's Tom Medley? Tom Medley's the next guy we want to see up here. And in case uh, none of you know Tom Medley, or remember Tom Medley, then you're not old enough to know what's going on. Where's Tom? Where's Tom Medley? Who's babysitting Tom Medley? Here he comes. Get the Come old geezer up here. In case none of you know, and there's a lot of new folks that have have gotten into street riding here in the last uh, oh, 10, 15, 20 years, right? This is the guy who created it. This is the guy who went to Peterson Publishing, which back in those days was God in the hot rod business, and they probably still are. And we're going to get into street rods, and then nobody even knew what street rod meant back in those days. And this is the guy who invented the, invented the word, right, Tom? Invented the concept. Invented the first nationals, okay, that the other guys have picked up on and run with. This is Stroker McGurk, this is Tom Medley. How about a big round of applause for this guy? Uh, the one thing I forgot coming up to Pleasant, I drove my 40 coupe up here, but Oh, I got to talk right in the mouth, huh? Jesus, it feels like I'm getting a root canal here. <laughs> uh, the one thing I forgot was my 29 sunscreen. Jesus, this is really warm up here. But uh, I got the, the Stroke of McGurk Award is, I uh, used to have a cartoon character in Hot Rod Magazine. I started working for Hot Rod back when second issue, and uh, it's, uh, in fact, it's one of my old Stroker hats that we just bronzed up and, and made a little deal out of it. And every year, I could pick any, any car I want. You know, I mean, whatever, whatever it happens to be. And, uh, I remember a couple of years ago, I, the guys kind of lost sight of what the, what the real deal was and, uh, when Jim Jacobs and Pete and Jake had his touring car here, which uh, I don't know whether you guys saw it or not, but it didn't have any upholstery and it was just a, a real wild looking thing. And it was sitting out here in the pre-staging area and these guys were saying, what's that thing there for? And I stand there and I says, well, they won best paint, and I think it's going to get best upholstery, and it was just a couple of things. They couldn't, they didn't get the idea that you can have a lot of fun in something without it being a high tech. However, on the same, on the other side of the coin, I can turn around, and this year, this is a kind of car that I'd like to have if I had the money, but you know, low buck Charlie here, I've got to go with the old stuff, but this is really neat, and uh, I'm just glad that, that one of the local troops got this. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, do you want me to just take it down and hand it to him? Yeah, do that. I'll, I'll, I'll adjust just my hernia belt and see what I can do. Hang on here. Thanks, Tom. Give me the slip you got in your mouth. Give me that slip. Thank you, buddy. Okay, thanks for playing, you guys. Thank you. 32 Ford High Boy. Congratulations. Chet also has a Bonneville car. That just, hey, where's Jocko? Just broke a record too. They ran 210. Hey, Jocko, get up here. 233. I lied. I said 237. Jocko's a pretty famous Look guy. Look at it. Look at it. This is Jocko Johnson. He's from uh, 29 Palms. And if we probably ask him to say his name, he probably wouldn't be able to say it. Would you, Jocko? My name's Bob. Bob Johnson. We all know him as Jocko. He built the first streamliner back in, uh, what, 1957, 1958, 1956. And he's a creative guy. He's a genius, but he can't add up his grocery bill. And he picked this truck here. We asked him to pick the Dare to be Different. And he picked this little truck here, which belongs to Johnny Woods out of Merced. He says he's glad you like it. Jocko, give me my paperwork back, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. Exit, stage right. How about a big round of applause for these guys? These are hot rod heroes. You know, in 100 years, we're all going to be dead and gone, but there's going to be certain guys we're going to remember. This is one of them right here. Nice trucky pick. Johnny Woods, the real campaigner. Goes to a lot of places, does a lot of things. Alright, we're going to move some 
more cars through here. Steve Coonan picked this one, Frank DeMarco, 32 Ford High Boy, definitely not yellow. Sunny California guy, one of the Tanaka guys, the crew, nice high boy, great to see you. Hot Rod Mechanics, Ron Serenano picked this car for Hot Rod Mechanics, it belongs to Pete. Garadillo from San Diego, it's the 33 Ford. It's the one that's got the headlights that flip out. I think it's got the motor in the back. Right. Doesn't it's say that mid engine. There. I think I saw that. Got the motor in the back. And uh, pretty wild little piece. White 34. You don't get this kind of car from, uh, you know, like the classic uh, classic fiberglass deal, you know, where you assemble it in the afternoon while you're watching TV. I'm sure you've seen those on TV. This is not that kind of car. The Boys Pro's pick and the kids pick that we talked about earlier, we got so busy talking about uh, Jim DeFrank's kid and stuff that we forgot to tell you that that was Sid Shaver's car. The black 32 Ford Woody, remember that? All right, that's Sid Shaver's car. Our next award is the Custom Rotter Award. It's car number one. Your champion. How about it, huh? Got that wild? It's a Nash, George. Well, all I got to go by is that, what's it say? It's a Nash. All right, it's a they Nash. They built them the same in those days. There's one guy that built them. He built them both. It is red, right? Steve, you want to come down and give yours out? You want to just do wing it, huh? Yeah. All right, our next pick is a Hot Rod pick, selected by Steve Anderson from Hot Rod Magazine. Hot Rod Magazine, huh? Here we Car go. Car number 239, Cliff Hansen, City State, 1933 Ford High Boy. Yeah, I can see Steve picking that car. He probably made the guy take him around the block first. Uh, careful, matters. careful. Street Runner Magazine, uh, I think it was Wiesner in this event. Really, really nice. 41 Woody. From back Kansas City someplace. That sucker is nice. Bill wow. Bolsch. They, huh? they, they don't uh, even know what the surf looks like. I know what they do. The wind blows, the corn gets so high, and they get up on top of the corn, and it's just... Yeah, it. Yeah. Would you buy that? Yeah. Nice, nice car. Our next pick is Rod and Custom, Pat Ganoff. Where's Big Tall Pat? Pat, do you want to get down here with Windy Snow? Ooh, that'd be a match. Boy, he could jump right up, didn't he? That man didn't even wait at 30 seconds. A match made in heaven. 1903 is the car number. Russ Schover, Livermore, 1944 Coupe. Gray on gray on gray. Beautiful. This next. And, uh, we'll just pretend like we're at Sears Point Raceway and they're coming to the line. Right. And in the staging lanes is. This is called Pop's Pit. Margie Pop from Vinti. Pit car number 1054. 48 Pluto. That's Pop's Same pick. Thing. Rick and Marge Pop of Vintique picked this car. Now where's Margie Pop? Come on out here, Margie. Margie. Come, on up. Come on, Marge. Come on, Marge. Come on down here. Hey, Marge. 
It's the Hugo Brothers. Everybody knows that. Does it say Doug? It says Doug Berry Barry and Hugo. Hugo. That's what I said the first time. Well, I don't know why he's got three names, but that's kind of stupid. I mean, well, this is a nice car. This is the Hugo Brothers car. It's bitching, isn't it? Yeah! Now, don't fire it up yet. Don't fire it up yet. We want to stop the program here for just a minute. Margie Pop. You gonna do it? <laughs> Margie Pop. Come on up here, Marge. Front and center. Margie Pop and, and her daddy, Rick, are very, very special people to us. So we're creating an award in, uh, in, her, mem in her memory called the Woman Rotter of the Year. And there's nobody more fitting than Marzi Pop. How about that, Blue? Hey, this gal don't only run a school. He's one of these new kind of guys coming up in the business. He's like, uh, what, late 20s, early 30s, and uh, a master builder and master car. Uh, trick, trick, trick from one end to the other. He created it, he built it. Big round of applause. Custom, nice, nice car. Nice, nice guy. <laughs> 